welcome 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 in family we are back we're about to continue our november monthlies november is approaching november is approaching we're about to continue our november monthlies we have already done pisces Taurus, Leo, and Aries energy. So if this one does not resonate, you're more than welcome to check that one out um, for those signs. Again, these can be your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, north node. Um, I'm also hearing this could be about your person, your person's chart, your person's person's chart, <laughs> your chart. Take a resonates, guys. All right, let's see who we have for today. All right, we got two that wanted to flip. We got Cancer and Gemini. So you could be having Cancer or Gemini in your chart, or this is who you're dealing with. So we're going to start with Cancer and then move right into our Gemini. Monthlies. November monthly. Sun, moon, rising, you are your person. I am your host, Majestic Quinn, 444. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. So we're going to start with Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, you or your person. Take what resonates. Cancer, let's see what we got going on for the Cancers for the month of November. All right, Cancer. So, we got someone saying where you want them to put it. Babe, stop playing. Damn. So, somebody might be finding out they're expecting in the month of November. For others, I'm hearing somebody here is dealing with someone that is very, very, very sexually attracted to them um, or vice versa. Someone here said if they was a judge, they'll send you to their bed. <laughs> someone could be incarcerated as well. Take what resonates. We have loving you is my biggest weakness and my greatest strength. All right, so someone feels weak and strong at the time dealing with you. I'm hearing in this situation that is someone feels strong but weak at the same time. You make someone weak in the knees, cancer, or cancer, someone makes you weak in the knees. Take what resonates. Let's see what else we have. You make me forget how to breathe. So, cancer, you out here making people um, have asthma attacks. <laughs> Take what resonates. I'm also hearing um, for some that might be something serious. Um, somebody might can't breathe. Somebody might have some type of asthma attack, heart attack. Um, take what resonates. I'm also hearing somebody have some type of, I'm hearing a heart enlargement could be significant as well. I'm also hearing somebody might be sentenced to their bed like for some type of illness. Um, I'm definitely hearing someone could might be getting poked more. Then once with some type of needle, that's for some, not all. Take what resonates um, at this time. So, all right, what else we got? Cancer. Someone here could have short or long hair, fade, braids, balds, or locks. I just heard balls. Oh, Lord. Spirit, what is going on this morning? But someone definitely can have a bald head, locks, braids, or a fade. All right. So what else we got? Cancer, month of November. Plot twist. Plot twist. That's what's making me feel like this isn't all sexual. This has something to do with someone's health. Someone's health as well. Plot twist. I'm also here. This is somebody here that couldn't thought they couldn't get pregnant or conceive. But they will. Hmm. I keep hearing someone could be focusing on their short term goals rather than their long term goals at this time. Someone could be getting faded, is what I'm hearing. Like drunk, high. Take what resonates. There's some type of plot to it. Somebody is going through some type of dehydration. Why they off the shits? What's this? Tender kisses. Loving you is my biggest biggest weakness and greatest strength. And then we got tender kisses. Somebody want to give you tender. I'm hearing tender. Tender love and care. Me forget. Somebody wants you to forget something. I'm hearing me forget. I'm hearing I'll, I'll yeah, forget. Somebody here could have had some type of experience with the kink. For others, I'm hearing something regarding sexual assault, sexual abuse as a child or your child could be going through this at this time. Take what resonates. 
Why haven't you responded to me in jail? So yeah, this is somebody who's incarcerated that could be going through this at this time as well. It could be a child's father, child's mother. This could be someone who is um, spiritually in jail at this time as well. Um, but somebody here hasn't responded to someone that could be blocked mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, something of that sort. But someone here could be incarcerated. I mean, why haven't you? So I'm also here for some. Somebody could be praying, praying on your downfall, and they're trying to figure out why haven't you got went to jail or something of that sort. Someone here might be trying to sentence you to jail as well. I mean, watching you, stalking you. I'm also here. This is somebody who's doing something that they thought they wasn't going to get away with, but plot twists. You will, or they will. And then I'm looking at this, like, yeah, it says BDSM. So for some, somebody's down with the kink, which is bondage, dominancy, submission, and masochism. So somebody could be down with the kink. That's cool. For others, I'm here. Somebody here could be getting locked up with the handcuffs in jail. Somebody here, when you call somebody, they're not going to respond, Cancer. When you call them while you in jail or something like that. Somebody might be trying to get you locked up, but it's going to be a plot twist. It's not going to work or vice versa. You might be trying to get someone locked up. Plot twist is not going to work. All right, take a resonance. All right, now, let's see for the month of November. Again, this could be happening um, past, present, or near future. This also could be happening now until the end of November. All right, so we got something about truth and uh, deception at this time. So somebody here is about to get the clarity that they need regarding somebody here that tried to deceive them in some type of way. This person could have destructive behaviors. This person could be very materialistic, uh, very codependent addictions, attachments. Um, I keep hearing sexual addiction. Um, for others, I'm hearing this could have something to do with like some type of boss, some type of contract. Um, I'm also hearing something regarding the industry. Um, but somebody's about to get the mental clarity that they need. I'm hearing some type of breakthrough. Success. Somebody here has a very sharp mind. I'm hearing as well. Somebody tried to talk their way out of something and it didn't work. It could have something to do with somebody's responsibilities. Hmm. Like I said, a child's responsibility. Somebody does not want to take care of their responsibility or child support. So somebody might go to jail or something of that sort. We got um, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus energy. Somebody here is at a standstill. It, rather they want to or not is what I'm hearing. Hmm. Hard work. Hard work. I'm hearing someone's put in a lot of hard work regarding some type of contract or I'm hearing housing as well. Somebody put money into some type of house. The landlord is like won't let somebody leave. Like keeping someone bound to some type of contract or lease. Somebody's going to figure out the truth. That's for some, not all. For some, I'm hearing someone has like some type of sexual addiction here. Hmm. Or any addiction. It could be drinking, smoking, eating, shopping. Take a resonance. All right, what's the Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords? I'm hearing you are um, going to have some type of creative opportunity. This could be about the creative opportunity here with the devil. Hmm. I'm to intuitive messages. You're getting these downloads. You could be expecting. Look at that fish in a cup. You're getting downloads. Either you are or someone you know around you is expecting. This is someone younger than you. This could be a child. You might start feeling like your, your kid has somebody pregnant or is pregnant. I'm hearing that at this time. I'm hearing surprise, you're a granny or you're 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 pregnant. Take a resonance. Or you're just birthing new ideas if there is no pregnancy or a mate or anything of that sort. I'm hearing you're just birthing new ideas. You're creating um all type of different 
I'm hearing your dreams. Your dreams. What's this? Um, what's the devil card? The strength. You're overpowering these energies, this shadow self. Your shadow self or this person is going through this. Take a resonates. Leo energy could be significant. I'm definitely hearing someone here is has the inner strength to overpower whatever seduction, temptation, destructive behaviors, codependency, toxicity. Someone here is restraining themselves. And like we said, um, with the jail, spiritually or physically, I'm hearing someone here is restraining themselves. That's exactly what the jail card could be. Someone is restraining themselves from lashing out, from uh, overdoing things um, in situations. This is what I'm hearing. Just the inner strength to move forward. Someone could be having the inner strength to move forward because someone is not responding to them. Is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing. And then when they do respond, they come off very immature and very manipulative. So somebody does not want to respond anymore or something like that. Someone... Put somebody on some type of block hold. I'm definitely hearing someone here has the courage here to keep moving forward. You have the courage, the inner strength. I'm hearing focus. Focus. Someone is trying to remain focused. Hmm. What's the nine of pentacles for cancer? We got saving money here. Like I said, something is at a standstill. Somebody here, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. But when they finally do make a decision, it's a, it's the right one for everyone involved. So someone is trying to make sure everyone involved is happy. Someone here is saving money. Someone here could just be, like I said, something regarding money. Somebody here thought they was going to get away with it. So now someone is like penny pinching or something like that. Hmm. I'm hearing greed. Someone could be trying to hold something in. Like I said, it could be a child. Something about pregnancy or this is you with the hold. Sort of like remind me of like a little baby here. And then we have the fish in a cup. I keep hearing baby energy. Or child's mother, child's father, grandmother, your mother, your father. Take what resonates for you. These are general messages, not personal. If you'd like to book your personal, in the description box is where it is at. Donations are always welcome. Um, yeah, I'm hearing something about fatigue. Fatigue. Somebody's always tired, even when they had sleep. Hmm. For others, I'm definitely hearing somebody's trying to meditate, get their mind, body, and soul in intact. Is what I'm hearing. I keep hearing foundation. Somebody's working on a foundation. What is this all about for cancer? Endings. Endings bring new beginnings, definitely. Somebody is trying to figure out how to move on from situations that burden them, that's toxic, that is just not good for them. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. Somebody's trying to end this. Scorpio energy, 13 reduces to a four. It's about control and getting organized. Somebody want to be more organized. Somebody could have passed away as well or will be passing away, like I said in the beginning. My condolences if that's the case, but I'm hearing for some, somebody knew this was going to happen. For others, somebody here is not really tuned in like that. For others, someone is like pleading, like, don't, don't take my person, something like that. Somebody's not ready for someone to let go or to be gone is what I'm hearing. I'm here, prepare yourself for this emotionally, mentally. Something here is coming, Aries. Someone sees it coming already. Someone sees this ending before it happened or saw this ending before it happened. I'm also hearing dodge the bullet. Yeah, like I said, someone could be focusing on the present moment more than the future. But they've still got their long-term goals in their mind. In their mind. Look, spirituality here. Change mindset. Now celebrating because you have completed some type of cycle. This was your choice. You have the option to do this here. You're going to have the option here to end a cycle, complete it, celebrate because you changed your mind, your focus on your spirituality, or this could be a high level commitment. There's someone, someone got a new perspective on um, 
the relationship and they want to move it forward seriously this could be um taurus we have cancer your energy here scorpio like i said in the beginning aries energy remember the signs does not matter it's about the message but also this could have something to do with your spirituality as well church your organization things of that sort i'm also hearing society approves I mean, a lot of people thought maybe you were like batshit crazy when you were doing something. Now they see that you are, know exactly what you're talking about is what I'm hearing. For some, I'm hearing something about a third party situation could have got involved. Someone is ending that because maybe they chose wrong is what I'm hearing. But an offer is about to be made. An offer is about to be made. Somebody wants to give equal, equal give and take. For others, I'm here. you're going to find out somebody is trying to breadcrumb you while balancing something out with somebody else. Look, Knight of Swords. I mean, Knight of Swords. They're coming in hot is what I'm hearing. Knight of Wands. This is my player play at card. Somebody in for a good time, not a long time. Fight or flight. Yeah, you're going to be single and abundant or you are single and abundant because it's your it's your time. To get all of this balanced out. You're meditating and praying more at this time. Okay. What else we got? Let's get some from my angel prayers. Cancer. What's going on for my cancer's balance? Like I just said with that temperance card. Look, and then we got happiness. You're balancing your emotional stability is what I'm hearing. Something is about to get balanced. Look, new beginning. We did just see that with the death card. I'm hearing death to the old you. I just heard that as well. With the new beginning, thank you, angels, for opening the doors to change. I am ready. You're ready for this balanced life, this comfortable life, is what I'm hearing. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. Don't hate, meditate. <laughs> I'm hearing you're thanking your angels for guiding you to love through meditation. Meditate, pray, take a resonance for you. Alright, so we're going to move on to our Romance Angels. Romance Angels, I just saw them very soon and this is the one, so I'm definitely here. You could be the one. Honeymoon and wedding. Oh Lord, you could be the one. <laughs> so I'm here, you enjoying the holiday bliss uh, together. This situation involves a marriage. So you could already be married. Um, for others, you're about to propose something of that sort. Look, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Right now, you are healing your family issues at this time. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Take what resonates for you. All right, so somebody could be getting married and about to have a baby, or someone's going to find out they're pregnant during the honeymoon. Take a resonance. For others, I'm hearing this could be some type of arranged marriage where somebody is doing this for the money or something. Like, this lady looks like she doesn't really want to marry this person or something like that. She's like, she's looking in the side of her eye like she don't really trust him. Hmm. Tell you, that's what's on now. Let's see what's going on. Someone needed to move on, but they still feel like y'all got unfinished business. And that landed on honeymoon. So somebody that is not around you wants to spend the holidays with you and enjoy it. But they at a distance or you at a distance. Take a resonance. I'm also hearing somebody could be in the honeymoon stage of their relationship. But somebody here has unfinished business. What's going on with this wedding? Our relationship was so darn complex. So it took a mathemati mathematician, mathematician to figure out that y'all do love each other. I'm hearing it's not rocket science, but somebody here took you through loops and hoops and jumps and hurdles and the whole nine yards type of energy in order to marry you or... I don't know. Court you is what I just heard. <laughs> true love. What's true love? You will always have my heart. Always and forever. All right now. 
Winter time could be very significant with this heart. Someone misses you every day. I'm hearing the new person try to act like you or dress like you or talk like you. But it hurts them to see you loving somebody else. They still want to be in your life. They want to at least be friends. I'm hearing like someone's going to invite their ex and their new person to like a wedding. I had to go. We were holding each other back. So I'm hearing that somebody's going to get an invitation to a, like an ex wedding or something like that. Hmm. I'm here. Somebody's here going to like stand up. They're going to like contest the marriage or wedding. We will always find our way back to each other. I'm here. We old school. Or I'm here. Somebody saying like I'm old school. I'm old school. I'm here like an old school wedding. Take what resonates. <laughs> and I keep hearing old school, like arranged, arranged wedding. When you let go in a few days, what else we got? It's not worth the wait. Yeah, somebody had to go. Somebody is going. I had to go. We were holding each other back. Somebody left or somebody is about to leave. Or will be leaving. Whether that's a mindset, person, place, thing you take resonates for you at this time. In the month of May, somebody could be born in May. I'm hearing Gemini energy. Somebody born in May had to leave, but they'd probably be returning in the month of November. Or somebody that's born in May is leaving in November and going to live their life because they allow things to come to them or you allow things to come to you. Something about November and May. So maybe this May coming up. I'm also here. This is somebody here that realizes that the well is dried up. Not in this lifetime. Somebody here is not waiting to live their life anymore. In less than a month in the morning. Somebody's not waiting to actually be happy is what I'm hearing. I must hear somebody here is counting down the days to so they see somebody. Definitely Gemini energy. We got June and May. May and June, Gemini energy is here, heavy, strong. Somebody took a break. Somebody took a break from you or you took a break from somebody. Yep, I'm hearing, see you next year. Somebody here could have ended something in 2020 as well. Or that's when you met this person or when things got serious or maybe when things got complicated. But you guys do a lot of back and forth. In and out, make up to break up type of situation. Alrighty then. Let's see, what's your life purpose? What's your life purpose for cancer for the month of November? Life purpose, creating things, creative expression. You're letting things go. Your soul longs to create, express hmm, itself. Your soul is longing to do something. Say something, go somewhere, let something or someone go. <clears throat> because it's hindering your growth. Whether that's a person, place, thing, you take what resonates. But walking away from this situation is is going to resolve it in all. Maybe someone walked away from you or maybe you walked away from them. But someone is taking a break to heal their energy at this time. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. You naturally heal others and yourself, is what I just heard. Naturally. It comes naturally. This ain't no front. This ain't fake. <laughs> this ain't fake, is what I just heard. This ain't fake. I need to take a break. <laughs> yeah, someone's reflecting on this. Now someone's reflecting like, dang, this person really... Really ended this with me, or this is really over. Sacred resonates. Somebody is definitely realizing that. What does this say on this wall? I'm hearing the ninth cast, and then I'm seeing an eight two two eight or eight three two nine. Some maybe someone's phone number, someone's apartment number. I'm seeing what I say eight two two nine or eight three two nine. Ninth cast. Someone to stay on the ninth floor. Someone's apartment number could be nine. I'm hearing court nine. That might be the number y'all get married in in the courtroom. 
Ten resonates. But someone here is reflecting. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. So someone now is gaining the clarity after someone let them go. Maybe they're reflecting on why this person let them go. I'm seeing a lot of like drinks here. So maybe someone had like drinky problems, smoking problems, eating problems. There were some habits that caused disagreements. I wish I understood how you feel. It could be something to do with separating. So maybe someone was about to get a divorce and they realized they don't want it. For others, I'm hearing there's a third party interference here. Whether that's work, school, drug. Again, third party could be that addiction as well. The third party is, is whatever is getting in the way of the connection from flourishing is what I'm hearing. That's the third party. Yeah, somebody want to reunite though. We will always come back to each other and we just had it with the old school. We will always find our way back to each other and then reunion. We will always come back to each other. So somebody is not worried about the separation or whatever it is, or that someone letting them go. I'm hearing they're, they're going to return if that's what you want. For others, I'm hearing by letting this go, you're going to meet your person and it's not going to, it's going to probably cause some type of disagreements with family or friends. Somebody might try to say they don't understand why you want this particular person or something like that. What's going on? Yeah, someone here. There is a third party that you have to probably let go in order to be with your person. Because someone here is not happy the way things are going. So I'm hearing the way things are going. So this is like present moment maybe. Yep. Someone don't want to run anymore. Let us say third party. Popping right on out. Somebody does not want to run away from their person anymore. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. I just said that like four times. Whether it was drugs, alcohol, family, friends, a whole nother individual. Take what resonates. But someone still has hope. They haven't given up on you and you haven't given up on them. But it's a lot, a lot of... Um, gossip going on between their friends, your friends, your family, their family. Maybe these people does not want you guys to be together. But someone is definitely afraid of what other people may think. They daydream about you, though. They always long for you. No matter what they doing, who they with. I mean, who you with? <laughs> so we don't know who you with. Are you with someone? A man? Are you with a man? A woman? Look, what did I just say? Thank you, sir. Look, a man, a woman. Who you with? Who you with? Somebody here has wavy hair. Long nails. I mean, something about that red lipstick. Attractive. That red lipstick is very attractive. Very bold colorings. Very bold colors. What else? Red hats could be significant. What I say, pregnancy. Somebody's gonna be scarred when they find out somebody's pregnant. I'm also hearing somebody feel feel scarred by being a father or mother to this person or something like that. Take a resonates, but I'm definitely hearing somebody is drinking. Look what I say, red lipstick. That red lipstick. Hey, I'm hearing uh the red pumps from Martin. Red lipstick, red pumps. Somebody got pregnant off the red lipstick. Somebody got pregnant off the red pumps. But something about the color red could be significant. Somebody's nickname. Those letters could be switched. It could be D-E-R or R-E-D. Could be significant. We do have color red for cancer. I'm also hearing somebody here could be juicing on their menstrual as well. I just heard something about... Blood magic, because when you juice on your period, that's what it's causing. And you wonder why you can't get away from this person or let this person go. <laughs> Blood magic. Somebody got a resting bitch face and someone is focused on their individuality. I'm here, don't let my face fool you. I do love you. I do love our kids. But I'm scarred. I'm focusing on my individuality. Who am I really? That's what this person is saying. Who am I really? Hmm. Take a resonance. I'm also hearing somebody go probably pass out when they find out that they're pregnant. Somebody might faint. I'm hearing at work. Uh, 
I'm hearing something about heading to like a flight. Something I'm hearing something about an airport. Somebody's gonna faint, and when they go to the clinic or doctor, they're gonna tell them that they're pregnant. Hmm. Pregnant. Pregnant. All right. What else is happening with our cancers? What's going on? Hmm. What's going on? Cancers for the month of November. What's going on, Cancers? What's the BDSM spoiling you? They want to spoil you rotten. <laughs> spoil you rotten. Somebody wants to give you that good life. They want to spoil you with gifts, trips, everything that you ever need or want. You deserve nothing less, Cancer. Or you could be telling this to somebody. I'm also hearing somebody here uh, wants to spoil their grandbaby or something like that. Take a resume or their child. Somebody wants to spoil their child. But someone is letting go of the past. Somebody here wants to rewind. They want to rewind. Re -re 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 -re. They want to rewind time and go back to before y'all both was uh, broken down by life. Y'all past is holding y'all back from y'all future. Someone wants to let go of the past. Whether that's a past person, place, thing. It could just be past hurt because I'm hearing you. But you hurt me. It's like... Two people arguing back and forth. Like, let me let go of the past. I can't. You hurt me. That's what I'm hearing. Everything that happened hurting me so much. I need more time to heal. So this is how somebody lets somebody go because they still heal. And they know this. Look, soon they're going to reach out because they're going to probably feel more ready now. Take what resonates. You're very smart. So you could be telling this person they're very smart for letting you go and go heal themselves. Or you you could just... Really feel like this person is just smart. Their intellect turned you turn you on. I'm also hearing your their intellect turned you on from the beginning. Like when they talk, uh, when you guys talk together, something like that. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart, and I really enjoy our conversation. So somebody is enjoying your conversation. I just heard that what what Kevin Gates say. Our convo got me erected. <laughs> Look, need time to heal. So you healing, they healing. Just right now, you guys are not in a space to focus on uh, love right now. I mean, yes, you love each other at a distance, but right now, y'all healing. Y'all healing. This isn't about you. It's about me. So you focusing on your healing and they're focused on theirs, whatever that is. But I'm hearing this situation is it's, it's, it's either meant to come into marriage or this marriage is meant to break up and you guys go your separate ways. Because hmm. someone has emotional intimacy. They're afraid to truly open up to you, collective. Um, like being raw and authentic with their emotions is something they're still working on. Raw. Raw. I keep hearing raw. Like raw, having sex. Somebody got pregnant. They missing you. Somebody's showing out right now. They showing out. They showing their ass. I'm hearing somebody's kid could be showing their ass. Look, BD. I'm seeing BD. <laughs> like baby daddy. Somebody's showing their ass right now. Those letters could be significant as well. The letter D, the letter S, the letter M, B. I'm hearing I, T, K. TKO is what I heard. Oh, all right. What y'all got going on this morning? It's like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. What's going on? Somebody gonna want to fight you, though. Somebody here might want to fight for this love for others. I'm hearing somebody here could have an, a crazy ass, like, egg. I just heard eggs. Eggs. Someone here did something. Eggs. Eggs. Something about Eggs. But I'm definitely hearing something about there was a lot of arguments, physical fights. Somebody is at war. Someone is competing. I'm also hearing someone is not liking the fact that you're about to get married or something like that. Someone does not like the fact that you have a new beginning, that you said death to the old you. Literally, figuratively, take a resonance. Mm, mm, mm. Girl fight, arguments, physical fights, at war. 
I mean, somebody likes the attention. Somebody likes the attention. Hmm. Someone here got broken down to they last. I'm here my last two dollars. And I'm not gonna lose. Hmm. Somebody bet all their money on you. Somebody's betting all their money on you. You the one. You the one. This person here, I'm asking you, somebody here rather go. Somebody gonna go broke for you. Like I said, they bend all their money on you. Hmm. They bend all their money on you. Something about drinking Red Bulls. Something like that. Ego. Someone's in their ego. Someone's ego got hurt. Someone's ego got bruised. I mean, someone could have bet all their money on you, but you didn't choose them. Somebody like, I bet you be back. I bet you be back. I bet you be back. And they didn't come back. Or they didn't, or someone's like, I bet you let me come back. I bet you let me come back. And they didn't let you come back. That's what I'm hearing. Take a resonate. Someone now, someone's ego is hurt. Someone's ego got in the way in a relationship. Take a resonate. I'm hearing, you got to take the ego out, out of a situation that you love someone. Because the ego is going to steal everything in this loving situation. It could have been a very good loving situation, Cancer. Who knows? But ego will always steal the joy. Pride will always steal the joy of the relationship. You got You can't have ego in a in love situation. Just like um, you can't be a realist. Like like always, everything has to be logical, logical, logical. You some things just don't make sense, but it makes sense. <laughs> At the same time, it's like, wait, this doesn't make sense, but it actually does make sense. Like I do love you, you know, type of energy, but it's just you're not that person I expected to be in love with or something like that. God, something of that. Cancer, y'all take a resonate. <laughs> What's going on for my cancers? Yeah, someone here is threatened by you. Someone here or someone, partner or ex-partner, ex-wife, ex-husband is threatened by you. I mean, if this relationship was past due to be over, it's been was supposed to be over. Venito is what I just heard. That shit, Ben was supposed to have been broken up, gone. Somebody, Ben was supposed to realize that they, they was operating out of their shadow side with this person. And now they're stepping into their new, with their new person and their new self. Even if you're not even with somebody, you, this could just be you. You focusing on you. You let go of the shadow side, which is the devil energy. And you're becoming the new you. Beautiful. Somebody is threatened by that. They want to steal that. How do you get to be new? How do you get that new person? How do you get that new job? How do you get that new car? Like someone is truly, truly hating. And we saw that. Don't hate. Meditate. How do you get that? Like, wait. I'm not saying someone could be... Like a jealous spouse, male or female. I don't know. It's very, very weird. Um, because you're supposed to work with your partner. You're supposed to work together. I mean, that's why something got put on hold. I keep tuning into the this right here, the Knight of Pentacles. Something, some relationship was smack dead. And like everything was going good. It was going fine. Yeah, y'all had y'all normal arguments. And then smack, it got put on hold. Because somebody here is still in this devil energy, addictions, toxicity, destructive behaviors. They're restricted on how they should love or who they should be with. Like, it's, it's just very shadowy self. Someone's still stuck in that. So, the relationship, the job, the friendship, the whatever situation that was going good for you, where you felt like you had your clarity, and life is great, y'all having fun together, and then all of a sudden you started fighting. Because someone's still in their ego. They're threatened by you. Hmm. Take a resonance. Let's get some true emotions. Heartbroke. Someone could still be focusing on the fact that they got kicked to the curve. Like this heart is on fire. My heart is breaking. My heart is breaking. What did he say? She's a runner. She's a track star. She gonna run away with things. Get hot. Take a resonance. That's what I'm hearing. The, look at the heart. It's on fire in this man hand, like male, male or female, but this is a guy in this picture with holding a heart 
that is on fire. Let it go. It's over. Like someone's trying to hold on, hold on for dear life to this heartbreaking situation. It's over, my love. The name Russell could be significant. Russell. Russell. Take a resume. What I just say? Oh my God. I cannot make this up, guys, if I wanted to. Someone's crazy ex is still obsessed and won't let them go. It won't let them go. They won't let them go. My heart is breaking. My heart is breaking. Look at that. Male or female. Look at this person in this window. Like, come back. Type energy. Crazy ex. Obsessed. Won't let go. My heart is breaking. Look, while you run off to the sunset with your person, somebody is feeling like shit right now because they missing you. They want you. But look, I said love spill. Somebody been juicing while they own their menstrual. All this red. I'm sorry to say that. I don't mean to discuss anybody, but that's what I'm hearing. Do your own research, you know. I'm, I'm definitely telling you, if you juice on your menstrual, you're creating a soul tie that is super, super hard to unbreak. It's called blood magic with this spell, this spell. Someone's having sex on their period or someone did have sex on their period. Something about, I'm hearing the 15th of May. I'm also hearing June. June 15th. I'm also hearing January 15th. Hmm. Take a resonance, but I keep hearing spill Love spill, spill love. Someone here, it juiced somebody on their mission. My God, all my guys out there, please listen. If a girl still wants to sex you on their menstrual, she tried to trap you, my brother. Or vice versa, girls, all my ladies, if guys are okay with juicing on their menstrual, they are fully aware of what they're doing. And if they don't know, Y'all both should sit down and Google it together because I'm telling you that's what it's causing. With this person, why are you holding a heart that's on fire? I'm also hearing somebody's heart might be on fire for you. They just love the fuck out of you. Somebody would go psycho for you. I'm hearing psycho. She got me psycho. Somebody just maybe might be crazy in love with you. It don't even have to be that. But with this love spill here and all this red, I'm definitely hearing that. Y'all take what resonates. Look, I'm hearing it's spiritual. It's not physical. But somebody closed the goddamn cycle and now they coping by drinking. What else we got? Yep, coping by drinking while this person off being happy and single. They doing them. They dating, stress-free, setting goals, and they focused on their fucking career. Or this what you should be doing. Somebody here is a thug. That thug life. What I say, Jill, earlier. Jill, spiritually or physically. My heart is breaking. Somebody here might be going to jail for cracking cards. Something to do with some type of scam. And they're going to end up unemployed, in debt, and they're going to have very bad credit. I'm here. Is that going to be Visa Master? Somebody's going to try like seven cards. It's not going to work. Seven. Maybe in the month of July. This could happen in the month of July. Somebody know where you at. Somebody know exactly where you at and what you're doing and how you're doing it. Someone could have dropped a low for somebody. Somebody could be stalking you. Like I said, some type of stalker. Someone is reminiscing the mirror. You guys are mirroring each other. I'm also hearing someone here is trying to show compassion for this whole situation and remain positive on this adventure, on this journey. Because this is what a wise person would do. It shows growth. That's what a wise person wants to to me. <laughs> Remain positive in any situation. I know it's so hard. Easily said than done. Nobody's perfect. Not even me under this camera here. But yeah, I, I did. I am trying something new where you guys see all the cards and how I do what I do. Um, and you just hear my voice. But I'm definitely hearing. I mean, there's an importance of having positive thoughts. Lies, not only their specific, I'm hearing inspirational content, but also in the absence of negative thoughts that they affect. Negativity is damaging 
and needless waste of resource. I mean, and we should aim to replace it with positivity whenever we can. I mean, I am good at what I do, and I'm in control of my own success and happiness. No one else is. But you can show compassion for yourself and others. I mean, sometimes the most positive effect in your own well-being comes from showing some compassion to someone. By being understanding, kind, and caring to those around you. I mean, with your compassion, you make a positive difference in the world. I mean, you are sensitive to the needs of others. You know what others need. You know what other needs, you know what others need before they need it or before they know they need it on this journey. You're going on some type of venture or you might be going on some type of venture or you're on your journey. I mean, at some, t at some point, we all have some exciting idea to try, completely new experience for one reason or another. Don't act on, I'm hearing, don't act on it in the impulse let the impulse pass. So I'm hearing, if you got an impulse to get married, don't act on it right away. <laughs> don't act on it right away is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing, it's, it is a shame. It is a shame to do this habitually, but it also is good to, like, if you have a habit with doing impulsive ass shit and then regretting it later, that's the person I'm talking to. But if you have a habit with being closed the fuck off all the time, Knight of Pentacles energy, just no, I'm not gonna do that because such and such had a bad experience. You need to you need to do that. You need to do whatever it is that you're closed off to. I'm mean, here. If you if you're afraid to step outside of your comfort zone, try new things. This is the person I'm talking to. Um, I'm hearing. Don't do it habitually, impulsive. I mean, have an adventure. It can be very creative. A great experience. You can make a lot of new memories and have even... It, it may help change the direction of your life. You know how they say, if you do one thing, like if you play the lottery, you play three numbers. You did that one thing, you bought the lottery ticket. You put the numbers, that's the second thing. Boom, you won. You did the first step. Like they say, if you take the first step, God would lead the rest. But I'm definitely hearing doing this one thing might change the direction of your life. Sometimes we just need to be willing to step out of our routine and embrace our adventurous side. I mean, I am I am open to new experiences and I will not be controlled by my routines. Nope. Nope. Do not let your routines control you. That could also be something as well. Someone's afraid to step outside their comfort zone. They're afraid to try new things, new experiences. The word of the wise. You got this. It may be scary. Look at that door. It seems scary to walk through. But once you walk through that door, you... I mean, that's why it's scary because you don't know what's on the other side. But it might be something so beautiful, so passionate, so... So loving, so caring. Something of that sort is what I'm hearing. I mean, somebody is afraid to move on from their ex. Someone's afraid to move on from... Anything old, they're afraid of the new completely. Hmm. Take a resonate. All right. I'm hearing, I cherish and nurture the wisdom that life provides me. I will never stop learning and improving. Wisdom is the fundamental gift that is the journey of life offers. So the life offers the journey. And on the journey, you'll find a fundamental way of gaining wisdom Fun for your mental. <laughs> uh, I'm hearing like food for thought. Every day is a new opportunity to learn something new about ourselves or about the life in general. From our experience, both positive and negative, from thoughts, interactions, from our successes and our mistakes. I was about to say mindset as well. But we can develop wisdom and use it to enrich our lives and to impact the world. In the best of our abilities. Again, I cherish and nurture the wisdom that life provides me. I will never stop learning or improving. Again, like I said, somebody here needs to know, do their research on something regarding blood magic. Somebody's got a hold on you. Somebody know what they doing. Or you know what you doing to somebody. Take a resonance on shoot the message. Do not mistake the message. What I say, come back. Do not, do not mistake the message for the messenger. Do not mistake the messenger for the message. Come back. Like I said, somebody doing some weird old magic here. Come back. And you walked right back to the first time. Take what resonates. 
I'll take the rest of these. <laughs> All right, so I'm here and come back. I'm here and come back, walk, be proud. I'm here be aware that your mind will tend to wander and worry about things in the future. You have no control over. Close your eyes and say, stop, come back. Take a deep breath and remember to live in the present moments. Too far in the future will drive you crazy. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I'm an overthinker, so it happens. But I'm here and walk. This is a simply one of the best to relieve stress. Don't run or even walk very fast. Just walk and breathe deep from the abdomen. Allow the blood to course through your body. What I say about blood? No, I'm just playing. Okay. But no, be mindful. Somebody here needs to hear that. Be proud. After the day is done, take a few minutes to review your day, what you've accomplished, what meditations worked for you. Be proud of yourself for making the day happen. You made it happen. You made it happen, Cancer. All right, let's get some you and me. What's going on? Pisces was almost an hour. Cancer is almost an hour. What's going on? Water sign got a lot to say this month. Somebody here does not know how to talk to you. They don't know how to talk to you. So they're cutting you off for now. Since you don't know how to talk to me, I'm cutting you off. Simple. Or if you said that. Take a resume. Somebody here never felt anything like this before. On the bottom of the deck, they want to message you, but they are scared you're going to reject them. They want to call you. They want to text you, but they're scared. So they watch your social medias instead. Like a little stalker. <laughs> I know I've let you down. So they'd rather watch you than talk to you because they let you down. And they are fully aware of what they've done. They know. They know. All right, we got a love call. Somebody want to call you because they love you. They love you. We got the Phoenix rising. They want to take you on a date. <laughs> take a resonate. Someone here is expressing love, message of love, thinking of you. They about to inform you that they want you, that unconditional love. For others, I'm hearing you're about to receive some type of phone call that's going to help you release whatever needs to be released out of your life. Self-love, wholeness. I'm hearing affection, attraction, selflessness. Beautiful. Then you turn right into the Phoenix Rising. You want a new phase. Something new. For others, I'm here, you could be rekindling something old. We did say the flame. So somebody here could be rekindling an old flame. I'm also hearing someone is renewing their vows. Someone could be feeling renewed. Someone is growing. Someone is showing the growth and at this time. And we did have the growth card. So someone here, and I'm going to read it since we still have growth twice. I'm hearing every experience we have in life from the uh, delightful or the terrible can contribute to our overall enlightenment. Life is full of tests, both big and small. And whenever there are results, whenever, whenever there is results, <laughs> we can always take something from them to help us learn about ourselves and the impact we have on others. Because what you do affect others, whether you realize that or not. Um, but I'm definitely here. We have we have to be mindful of the other person, the other party, or the other party needs to be mindful of us. Take a risk. Being open, being open to these lessons increases your emotional intelligence. Which someone has that emotional intimacy issues, which increases emotional intelligence this is how you increase your emotional intelligence thinking about others and how they will feel if you did this or if you did that take a resonate emotional intelligence and our ability to analyze situations with what clarity we started that off with clarity truth and clarity shows growth i embrace the lessons of life every day is an opportunity to improve no one's perfect. No one's asking you to be perfect. Take what resonates. All right. So let's see. Anything else my collective need to know? We are almost in the hour. Cancer, you got a lot to say this morning. What's been on your mind? What's happening? What's happening for my cancers for the month of November? What's happening? Cancers. Oh, we, baby. Secrets are slow to come out, but they coming. Lies are slow to come out, but they coming. 
families, I'm hearing family secrets, lies are slow to come out, but they coming. I'm also hearing for some, ooh, wait, okay. I'm here. I don't want to be a player no more. That's what I heard. Okay, so this is a secret. Yeah, true indeed. It's upright. It's a secret that somebody no longer wants to lie anymore. They want to move straight to the future. <laughs> somebody here might have to leave a family member or friend behind. For others, I mean, this situation, secrets are about to come out about somebody's family. They slow to come out, but they come in. I'm also hearing somebody might be coming out about liking men. So this is why somebody is very argumentative because they're into men or women. Tego resonates. For others, somebody here could have been in some type of domestic violence. Somebody don't want to fight or fuss anymore. I'm hearing somebody has some type of physical incompatibility. Some, this is why somebody can't get it up because somebody is trying to figure out if they still want to be a player or play it. They're not used to being in love. I'm here, you made the player play it, fall in love. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. I keep hearing too much sauce. Too much sauce. Somebody here was not expecting this. Somebody here was not expecting this to happen. So it's causing pressure. Somebody could be in love with two people at once. That's possible. That's possible. It's possible. <laughs> Somebody's afraid to admit that, though. Hmm. All right, what else we got? Anything else? Someone feels unworthy because they feel like that. Someone could be feeling like they're manipulating somebody or someone. Then we have religion. Hmm. Someone could be focusing, like I said, on their spirituality. And now that they've really tuned, tapped into their spirituality, or something like that. They realize that they've been manipulating people. Making them feel unworthy. Creating a bunch of options and obstacles. Because they made people fall in love with them. They were so lovable. They were so lovable. They backstab people. Mentally abuse them. Look, confession. Confession. Someone's going to confess all of this to you. If not, I just did it for, you, for them. Because they're not going to tell you. These are... Inner, inner feelings. These messages are things that people are feeling inside. Their actions are their actions. But this is stuff that people will never tell you. Or things that you will never tell somebody. Look, what I say, options. Somebody is like, what? I created all these obstacles and jumps and loops and whole time. This is my person. This is the person I was supposed to be with. This, this is my person. Look, we have all these different options. I'm also hearing that you might have a lot of options in work and friendships and situations. You wasn't expecting this. I'm also hearing other people's opinions are in a lot of situations as well. Someone's focused on other people's opinions instead of what they feel. What you feel. Someone might feel that way about their religion as well. Someone might be afraid to say that they are religion or, or religious or spiritual or something like that. Because they're afraid of what people may think. I'm hearing that as well. Take a resonance. Can I get a love oracle and then I'm going to end it there. We literally are at the hour. Let's get a love oracle. Someone needs to figure themselves out. I'm also here. I got you figured out. Someone figured you out or you figured someone out. Don't wait for me, please. Please don't wait for me. You've triggered me. Triggered you to do what? Uh, triggered you to do what? To admit that someone is bullshitting you. Someone's going to admit it. Someone doesn't want you to put up with their BS. I'm also hearing someone does not put up with the BS. The BS is not somebody's forte. They also sense it before it happens. And then the person is like, why are you lashing out? I know you did something. It's a type of energy. <laughs> well, look, what's the truth? I know. I know. Someone has some childhood trauma that they're healing from. They have hurt me. It's almost like I said in the beginning. Someone could experience as a, as a child. Someone's child could be experiencing this. And they 
not sure as a parent how to handle it. Um, I'm definitely hearing a lot of bullshit is happening rather around you. Or this is someone else's energy. Take what resonates. Because energy is fluent, could be yours, could be theirs, could be the people you're around. Take what resonates. Um, energy could be interchangeable as well. I mean, fluid could be past, present, or future. Energy is interchangeable, could be yours or theirs. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so this is what I am seeing. For my cancers for the month of November, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been an amazing journey here. Um, again, these are general messages. If you would like to book your personal, you can look in the description box for more information. Thank you so much. I am your host, Majestic Quinn444. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. Hit that notification bell, wherever it may be. So you don't miss any of my messages. You will get them right away. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and blessings, blessings, blessings on your journey.